Eh, jo, jag tycker jag är framförallt jävligt stolt över killarna att vi får med oss en poäng här från i kanske en av de tuffaste bortamatcherna för säsongen. Med tanke på hur uppladdningen har varit kanske lite turbulent i två veckor här eh, och vi har jobbat på i två veckor här så att eh, så är jag såklart väldigt nöjd med, med en poäng att komma härifrån så att eh, all heder åt killarna eh, ska de ha. Sen att att Hammarby skapar mycket chanser och har de klart bästa chanserna så är det va. De har 30 000 i ryggen och, och har hemma, hemmaplan så att det är ganska naturligt. Så att, jag är jättenöjd med, med hur killarna agerar. Mm, Tackar. Well, first of all, um, congratulations to Marcus on his first game. Right? First game as a pro coach. You know, it was a um, well fought point by them. Um, in terms of us, I, th I thought the game was, you know, exactly what we wanted, except the goal. The movements were exactly what we stressed. The fullbacks getting forward was exactly what we, you know, had been putting into play. Um, you know, when you look at the, the shots, the, the chances, we deserved the goal. But that's football, you know. That's how it goes. And you need to actually shoot it in the net for it to go in. And we didn't do that today. But... I was pleased with everything else. I think the backs, you know, really dealt with with their transition very well. I think we controlled most of the game. We had, like I said, good movements from our, our midfielders coming inside. So I, I was pleased with any, everything. And I think a, as the guys, you know, specifically our new players, as they get more fit, as, as they get integrated, they'll be they'll be um, even more effective. Okay. Men eh, en bättre och roligare match kan man inte få som, eh, som sin eh, debut som tränare. Så att, eh, härlig inramning och eh, ja, jag sa innan också, nästan som man själv hade velat vara med på plan. Det var man saknade om man inte får spela. Va? Så att, men den tiden är förbi. Så att, eh, och få stå utanför och, och vara med här. Det, eh, jag var, var rent nöje att få vara med här idag. Amazing. Amazing. I mean, you know, this is this is raising the bar for Swedish football, raising the bar for Supretan, and you know, it says a lot about this club. It really does. I mean, to have this type of fan support, to have this type of atmosphere in the Swedish second division is is insane. It really is. I mean, this is, you know, this is something in Germany that we see. You know, amazing. Greg, how frustrated are you right now that the three points never? On a scale of one to ten, I'm an eleven. And was there any chance for Andreas to start this game? Or? You know, he he actually met the guys for the first time an hour and a half before the game, <laughs> and he's been on vacation for a week. If there was a chance, I would have I would have taken it. But you know, you know, you got to use your judgment in that situation, and and it wasn't right. It wasn't the right time. Um, you know, it was it was I think pretty incredible that he even got 20 minutes. You know, but he he wanted it. I mean, he you know he tested today. He was out in our training ground that's under construction, running on the side and a little grass thing, testing it, and and he said, "Listen, I want in. I want to play." So it, it was testament to him that he wanted to take part in this. No, you know, I thought it was okay. I thought I thought it was, you know, there were some times where they were, they're looking for each other and they're mobile, and you know, that's that's what we wanted to exploit with that type of combination out there. I would say that, you know, there there could be a chance that we we go with a, a big and a small, um, to you know, to get some of that aerial threat because we we sorely lacked that today. But their quickness, you know, not, there's not many forwards in the league that have their type of quickness and. You know their combinations were good, so I think they can be effective. I don't rule that out. They can be effective together. Uh, Greg, yeah, last time we spoke, you talked about belief. Yeah. Do you still believe? Listen, you know, you know my mentality. I mean, you've seen me long enough. You know that until it's mathematically impossible, we're going to keep believing. I mean, when we can play like this, we'll be fine. We'll be fine.